stand before you today as a proud contestant for Hot Mon Mrs India Worldwide 2023. I am Kanika Grover, a convent educated woman. I have always been driven by my passion for modeling, writing and poetry. A firm believer of living my life to the fullest. I have had the privilege of working with some of the biggest names in the Bollywood fashion industry like Dinesh K. Ramsey where we worked for the Trillium fundraiser and also the most talented Pooja Batra where we worked for Serve Canada. I have also been crowned for Mrs. Meera Tom Queen and Jodi No. 1 contest. But my aspirations go beyond my personal recognition and fame. As an active member of several charitable organizations, I believe in the upliftment of the society. It is my dream to represent my country as the next Hotmon Miss India Worldwide 2023. But I cannot achieve this dream without your support. Your vote is your belief in me and my dreams. Therefore, I humbly request you to cast your vote for me and help me become Mrs. Popular Hotmon Miss India Worldwide 2023. Thank you. Welcome to Community Debate. I'm your host, Halima Sadia. As usual, I'm going to bring you something about the community, what is happening new and who's making a difference in their life. Today, our guest is Konika Grover. She is a fashion model by profession and heading towards Haunt Mode Mrs. India Worldwide 2023. This is the event which she must be very excited to participate in. Let's talk to her about herself and her journey and her profession. Welcome. Thank you, Halima, for having me over with you guys. It's a really exciting journey which I will be heading towards. So I want to share my experience, like how I have been before that. I'm Kanika Grover, finalist for Hotmon Miss India Worldwide 2023, a beauty pageant which is really big, which is happening. Of, uh, contestants are coming from all over the different parts of the world, and it's happening in Dubai. I'll be shortly heading there. So I'm here to talk about my pageant today. So let's talk about your journey first, that how you uh, ended up uh, being a fashion model, what was your motivation towards it, usually what we strive in life, what we pursue in life, we had towards that. So what was your motivation and how you achieved that? Okay. So I always wanted to be up on fashion model. It started way back when I was 12 years old. There was this uh, some beauty pageant happening in local city where my mom put me on stage competing with the Miss Uttarakhand title. There were girls from 12 years old to 25 and I was the winner of the ramp walk there. Oh wow! So it all started from there and then slowly gradually wherever I saw opportunities I kept putting my step ahead there. When I got married then I was titled for Mrs. Meera Home Queen. I was also titled for uh, Jodi number one. I was a winner there as well with my husband. And then we came here, then with little bit struggles and everything, then slowly and gradually through my Instagram, I found my way out uh, to get in touch with the Bollywood designer. I am happy to say that I have worked with Dinesh K. Ramsey, a Bollywood designer. I walk for him. I do a lot of ramp walks, like wherever he does for the fundraiser, for the Trillium hospitals and anything else. Also, we also worked with Pooja Batra. She was in We Serve Canada for the wellness. So slowly and gradually, this is the way I made my I made my way ahead, and then suddenly, on my Instagram one day, this opportunity came of Miss India Worldwide. I'm like, okay, let's go ahead and apply for it. One thing I want to be very happily announcing that usually it is a Miss India pageant where you know we as mothers are conscious about our body, about our looks. Everything changes after marriage, after babies, but with this, it is misses. So that was a big, big take for me that why not you know now it is a time to give wings to my dreams and then I got into it the auditions happened in February where there were 30 contestants and out of that I was one of them who was selected and from then since now I've been on my journey so usually art is itself is a very very difficult area especially modeling a lot of people don't see that it is a very shining promising a career for anybody whether it's a male model or a female model so but consistency and persuasi persuasion usually brings some results so what will be your take on that I would say you have to be very consistent on what you want in life like if I wanted to be there up on stage someday I was manifesting I was always dreaming I was always thinking see where there is a will there is a way so if you have a will to achieve something in life, you will definitely, the paths itself, they will open. I know there are some, you know, 
or sometimes you're scared to go online to put your pictures because modeling includes everything where you have to have different photo shoots and everything else. But you have to be bold enough and courageous enough to stand for yourself that you're doing right, right? As women, we are equal as men. So in this era today, I would say if you have a will, you can find a way to, you know, towards your dreams. So societies are usually very conservative yes. and we are heading towards backward than going moving forward. So do you think that in this situation still it is a promising career for a woman? I would say um, yes to an extent. If I could made my way, a lot of women they can, like they can. It is promising. It is a little bit hard. Nothing is a bed of roses. It takes your hard work. It takes your time. It takes your family work sometimes as well. So it's about balancing everything together and it can be promising if you are willing to do it with heart. Yeah. So you were talking about that there are like like for this context there are votings and all that. So explain a little bit better so that if uh, somebody from our audience want to vote for you or want to inquire about you to vote for you. So what are the requirements and how they can access okay. you? Okay, thank you for that. So basically they have, uh, apart from the main winner who will be given the Mrs. Worldwide 2023, there are subtitles as well. There are certain winners as well. There is one category which is of Mrs. Popular video. This Mrs. Popular video is come on the Hotmond uh, app and the link to it is shared in my Instagram. So if you go in my Instagram, my bio, the link will be there for Android users and for Apple users. You can click on the link, it'll take you to the Hotmond uh, app and then you have to email in there. On second number itself, you'll find me. My name is Kanika Grover again. You'll find me in a white beautiful sari with a you know, pearl blouse. So you just have to go there, watch my video. Those are my dreams which will not be possible without your support. So I would be grateful if you guys come up ahead and give me a five star rating there. That would be really appreciated. So the the world we are living is all tech world, technology based yeah. world. So uh, different tools, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and all that. So is there uh, any any other uh, area where they can go and there is ID like Instagram and all? That? Yes. So my Instagram handle is uh, provided. It is uh, Kanika underscore Mrs. India finalist underscore 2023. You guys can go and follow me there. You can see my journey, how different tasks we've been doing. You'll see it down there, how we started from the yoga chakras, then we went to the end period poverty, where we made certain donations of, you know, empowering women. We've given donations of sanitary pads. And not even as women, where even men have come and been a part of that uh, journey that I was going through. So then we've given, you know, now, nowadays we're doing the Bollywood task because some of Bollywood has also come to in our pageant so you can follow me on Instagram and you can see me there so what advice would you give to the upcoming models and those who are looking for pageant world or anything because it's like a sea like any other profession it's very big and it's men or women whoever is there they have their own story of uh, difficulties and achievements your comments so I would say uh, uh, first of all be it men or women if you are aspiring to be a model it doesn't really matter whether you're married whether you have family or you're unmarried it doesn't really matter whether you have like a fit fit body all what matters is how you're balancing your mental and your physical health to stay consistent on this journey and wherever you find different little little uh, platform for you like any window opens I would say be it volunteering as well it's not really important and you want to you know be paid for everything that you want to do you've got to do a lot of volunteering stuff to have your dreams achieved so I would say any little opportunities you get you must go ahead and grab it because ultimately this will help you in your journey so any final message you want to convey to the audience through us I want to say I would require your support through my Instagram handle because that is one of the main page where we are being uh, judged and where we are being seen uh, that you know uh, that you guys are supporting us. So I would say I would require your support so I can bring back the crown to our country and made us proud here. I thank you very much for being with us and sharing your experience and your message to our people. Thank you so much Alima. Thank you. Viewers, it's important that to understand the change around the world. It's no more about age is called just a number. It's not about age. It's how fit you are and how you think that you can participate in the society with different genres. Modeling, fashion designing, 
and art related work they are always very challenging in every society but whatever your dreams are you have to be consistently pursuing them one of them is kanika gover with us so please go instagram go on facebook vote for her see her page your support brings bright people up and they make a huge difference in our society with these words thank you very much for watching community debate with us today